Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, 3rd November, this is it. Election day, cast your vote if you're an American. Uh, if you're not, sit back and watch. It's going to be going to be a pretty interesting 48 hours, I think. All eyes are focused on Florida. Uh, look, if Biden uh, wins Florida, I think people are just going to say, bang, uh, it's over. Um, I have an uncle who lives in Florida. I spoke to him last night. He, he assured me that there's no way Biden can win Florida. Um, take that at for what it is, um, he's sort of a fancy pants guy, uh, lives in fancy Florida, there's plenty of unfancy Florida, and there's plenty of different Florida than what he knows, so we'll see. Um, whether my uncle is correct or not, it doesn't really matter, uh, just watch Florida, uh, this will be sort of the key, and then after Florida, you you want to watch um, Pennsylvania, you want to watch Michigan, North Carolina, uh, but Florida is going to be the key and there'll be some trading action uh, as Florida goes. The other thing you have to watch is the Senate races to see if uh, Democrats or Republicans get a hold of the Senate. If the Democrats get a hold of the Senate, it's a real clear signal just to smoke um, the bond market here. So this is this is ZB, as you all know, uh, long long bond U.S. Nice downtrend uh, so far. Should be some vol in this contract today. Don't expect it to get up through this trend line. 173.31 uh, or 174. Uh, and could easily smash through this sort of double bottom sort of scenario here down at 171 uh, 25 so if Democrats take the Senate uh, bonds go lower all kinds of uh, ideas out here obviously short dollars is on a lot of people's minds uh, this is a good place to to get short dollars if you want to be long euros, but you can't really do this going into the election, I don't think. Um, but rather than go with like strategic Democrat or Republican trades, let's look and see where the most shocking pain is uh, in each of these markets. For me, the most shocking pain in euro is lower. There will be huge risk below 116.22 we've already made a new daily high today uh, there'll be stops below 22 and stops below 09 um, this is max pain risk and cable is higher uh, 42 was the high yesterday if you look at on this uh, this looks like a good jump off point for longs uh, this could happen just naturally if the Democrats win could happen a number of different ways. It could be news driven uh, this morning. Max Payne is up. Max Payne in Dollar Swiss is down. Uh, but there really is no pain in Dollar Swiss because no one has a position. Uh, but the locals here who have all bought on the 90 cent handle um, will take pain through 90 cents. Dollar Swiss, as you can see, is not relevant at 91.80. Uh, there's no way we're going to get 90 cents today. Uh, dollar yen, the pain is down through 104. There'll be a cascade of CTAs getting involved, momentum traders, uh, and then all of the little dip buyers, the local Japanese dip buyers who are buying in front of these big bids at 104 uh, will have to take their stop. Downside is max pain in dollar yen. Dollars are tricky but I'm pretty sure max pain is down through 1608 will create a stir dollar max uh, I think max pain is up in dollar max everyone is short dollar max for a Biden win you saw the squeeze yesterday uh, up to 48 again 
quadruple top up there. Um, man, if Trump wins, this is a beautiful trade. Buy dollar max for 2050, 2150. Uh, max pain is up in dollar max because people are short. Same with dollar cad. People are short um, dollar cad. This is sort of the Biden's going to win trade. Um, if Trump wins, this is a big unwind. And finally, uh, dollar China. Max pain is probably down, um, but. If Trump wins, this goes way higher. So I don't think there's a huge positioning in dollar China. There's probably some probably some locals who are long. Um, obviously, China wants this thing back towards seven. Um, just makes it easier for them to export their shit. Anyway, that's Max Payne. Uh, gold Max Payne is lower. Um, we thought. 60 and 50 would break pre-election just to clear out some stops it hasn't um, I don't I don't understand any scenario where gold goes lower I'm not saying it could go lower um, but I don't really think gold's in play today and stocks I have no idea uh, I would say max pain is probably higher um, but I have no idea in stocks. Could go, could go either way today. Our focus is short, uh, short ZB, um, and then we will be looking at dollar max both sides, dollar CAD both sides. We'll be looking at cable top side as just a technical play, and we will be looking at euro dollar trying to ride the pain wave. So. There's no trade here. Um, you know, we have a small core long uh, from yesterday that's it's now pretty stale, to be fair. Um, and so we're going to have to trim this up uh, or at least just put the stop, maybe like a super tight stop now. Um, but um, as far as new tactical trades, uh, through the lows, there's some money to be made. Dollar yen also tactically no position right now, but through 104 the figure uh, privateer will be there. Anyway, I've said enough. Uh, you can read about this endlessly. Um, I think I have like 7,000 emails about this obviously the Wall Street Journal is covering it pretty well 538 uh, is a great election website to watch um, and then obviously Twitter has an unending amount of bung being slung around um, I suggest laying off the uh, laying off the commentary and just focusing on price um, Good luck out there, people. And remember, if you're confused and you don't know what the fuck's going on, just do nothing. Like this, At the end of the day, this is just another trading day. This is another trading day. Like, I don't know, the 30,000th trading day in my life. Uh, and if I make money or if I lose money, it really doesn't mean anything in the scheme of, of um, trading. And my career nor does it mean anything trading for you or your career so if you're confused or if you're feeling reactionary stand down if you're feeling front foot and you want to slam it have a great day anyway uh, good luck out there people we'll talk to you tomorrow see uh, see if America's burning or not uh, and uh, we shall see. Be interesting. Interesting 24 hours ahead. Ciao.